Good afternoon. Welcome to your weekly current affairs program. It is 60 minutes in Nigeria. My name is Ego Sagmala. I must admit that it's been raining cats and dogs right here in the Asian city of Benin City at those state. But we are here with very eminent personalities to dissect national issues. And of course, I know why you are glued to your TV stairs. You'll be warm. You will enjoy the discussion. We have with us a very, very prominent uh, clergyman and of course a renowned labor a leader in a do state, uh, Reverend Olu Adiri Bigbe. Nice to have you with Thank us you today. Thank you. We also have with us uh, a very seasoned politician, um, political analyst, and of course now the, the president of uh, United in Democracy Pressure Group uh, uh, with us, talking about Andrew Eigaloa. Nice to have you with us today. Good afternoon, viewers. Okay. Now, um, the media is a watch. With the appointments of for the three uh, ministers uh, forming the cabinet of President Muhammadu Buhari in his second term, uh, there was a retreat for the ministers. And after the retreat, only yesterday, they were sworn in. And uh, the, the president needed to uh, mandate them to report to the chief of staff and also uh, warned against corruption and to, uh, against uh, graft because he reiterated his administration's stance against corruption and the ministers were warned not to be involved in any uh, corrupt act. We'll be looking at the uh, cabinet, the inauguration, and of course the expectation uh, from Nigeria. So inauguration of President Warish cabinet and expectation will form a very uh, focal point of our discussion today. After that, we'll be looking at uh, the fight against corruption, investigation of former Lagos State Governor, uh, Governor Ambo, former Governor Ambode by the EFCC. That has also raised dust. And of course, the EFCC has come out to say they didn't raid the uh, residence of the former Governor of Lagos State, but rather it is an ongoing investigation. We'll look at the fight against corruption by the federal government. Okay, so let's get started. Um, looking at the uh, Federal Executive Council, uh, inaugurated yesterday, the cabinet inaugurated yesterday, 43. And of course, Mr. President remains Minister of Petroleum. <laughs> okay, let's start with Reverend uh, Luadiri <laughs> Now, looking at the formation of the cabinet, 43, at least one from each state. Uh, what's your take? Well, let me first congratulate the appointed ministers. Okay. Most especially at its effects at those states. Oh, we have two from at those states. So we thank God. Yes. But looking critically on the appointments, uh, they are good, but we discover that they are bunch or pack full of retired, supposed to have retired or retired governors, hmm. retired uh, House of Rep, senators, hmm. speakers. Hmm. Uh, what we found out that the package of these people, one wonders, why we see circulating. But that at May, maybe, okay. we feel that maybe they can use their old experience yes. to be able to guide the nation and to make sure the economy of this nation is improved, mm -hmm. not in minus as it is now. Okay. So we are talking about the issue of circulating old names in the political arena in this country. Yes. Okay. We'll come back to that because there's a lot to really talk about uh, in terms of retaining uh, some of the members of the cabinet in the first tenure of President Wandu Buhari. But um, hello, Andrew. Now, what's your take on the inauguration yesterday? Well, uh, first and foremost, I have to uh, congratulate uh, President Muhammadu Buhari for being uh, quick this time around compared okay. to his first tenor that okay. took him six months and, yeah. uh, to inaugurate uh, and swear in uh, ministers, which uh, almost crippled our economy. Yeah. Uh, be that as it may, the ministers, they've been appointed and uh, inaugurated. Yeah. Uh, what gladdens my heart, heart most is the inclusion of uh, seven women in the ministerial cabinet. Okay. 
uh, because you see women, most times they clamor for women empowerment, gender equality and all that. So President Mohammed Buhari has deemed it fit to say, okay, let me include the women. But there's a big but there. Yeah. I will use this opportunity to advise the women that have been included in this uh, ministerial cabinet mm. to be up and doing. It's okay. not an opportunity for them to go and send phone money and uh, enrich themselves and their families. Because we've seen cases of uh, women being empowered before. Okay. What they did, they, become, they became more dubious and food the problem <laughs> than the male can yes, okay. uh, buying houses abroad and all that. We think uh, like uh, Desiani uh, that uh, bought all the houses in Europe and good what millions of naira. But she's still under investigation. Good. It's, a, it's an indictment. Yes. Uh, you know, people are slow, you know, law is slow to be interpreted. It's still being interpreted and it's still being investigated. Then we see the likes of uh, Stella Woodward that bought a BM for 600 million. And uh, Patricia Ite, the supposed first woman speaker in the Federal Republic of Nigeria that wanted to repatriate her house for 500 million. And the former minister, Grange, that uh, took 10 million instantly and all that. We see cases of women. But then, you cannot say because of this one did this, you will not empower women. So these women should be very careful and uh, do the needful. So that, uh, but the women still believe that um, the percentage of uh, the women in the cabinet is not enough. Mm. Uh, <laughs> yeah, it's not like, it's a men's word, whether you like it or not. Uh, well, you have to start from there. Considering the past administration, I think they had just two. A deal so that still fucked up uh, with the fake certificate. Oh, we don't allow that language okay, on air. Uh -huh. Okay, so you get a um, scandal, scandal uh, against uh, former uh, finance minister, uh, Adil Shun. Uh, maybe one other person. Okay. The Minister of Education, it was a woman too. So making it seven this time around is a gradual process. If these seven that have been uh, appointed, if they do well, it calls for improvement in the women's sector. Okay. So I think the president has not done that for making it seven. Okay. Well. we'll come back to you, but let's get it all of, uh, uh, com uh, I keep saying comrade. Yes, comrade. I have, yes I'm a comrade. <laughs> okay. Yes, because uh, you, made, you made your mark. And people are still talking about what you did in those State. Okay. Uh, Reverend Ulu Adiri Bigbe. Now. Some of the old names, you talked about it slightly. Some of the old names came back. Um, are you comfortable? Amitri came back for transport? Or do you think the president is thinking along the line of continuity? Uh, people criticize the uh, former Lagos State Governor, uh, Fashola, but that today Fashola, of retaining, of uh, being minister of three key ministries, but this time they remove one. Power has been removed and uh, works and housing retained. Don't you think two is still too much uh, for him? Uh, well, uh, like some of the ministers that were retained, yes, it is very necessary when you start a project, okay, not to give room for abandonment, okay, and also diversion of fund. Mm -hmm. If I miss seat. Is still holding his uh, former position. Yes. I think it's a right okay. point and the right way. Okay. Because he has negotiated with foreign partners. He has invited many people to go ahead with this rail project. Okay. He knows where he stopped and he knows the next line to move. And I think he's coming back to that position is quite uh, Laudable. Okay. And uh, there will be no room for anybody to give excuse. Mm -hmm. But as for Fashola, yes. and me, I'm one of the people that uh, very happy of dropping that portfolio of uh, power. Of power. There's no power in him. Because we want to follow power as a minister. There must be vibrancy. There you are. You just go over a rant without nobody to put down on that project. And to today, that's why we're having candlelight. He cannot, he cannot pin down a particular person. There is no, there is, even in the housing, he is now. He needs to be tailored and monitored. So on that note, uh, But I some people not, believe that Fashola did so as a legal state governor. No, and well, what did he say that as a he betrayed, him. he betrayed me as a person. And I'm sure he betrayed the masses in those three portfolios. And uh, let us say it's the next level. And thank God that there's no more. In, because for any economy of any nation to grow, you must face the light, the power. The moment you cannot generate power for people to work, the artisan, the, the, the foreigners or whatever, industries, writing, uh, you know how much 
It is to pay for this now. Almost, almost uh, 300 naira. I mean, 300 for, 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 for this. If you want to fill 50 liters of this, you will have about 8 to 10,000. Just for your generator. Look at industry, factory. They will not make money. And when you are even making it, at the expense of the masses. So things were going to sell for 1,000. You sell for 2,000. So, first of all, has really betrayed the nation concerning the life, the power project. So let him, let us manage him now because it's too late to say no. But now that it's on housing and uh, works. on works, let us say I want to work. Because there's no road, that, well, maybe there's little improvement on roads. You know, the way he was there. But now, anywhere he has stopped about road, come now from, from, from Benin to Abuja, you, you drive in tears. And that is what we room for, for, for robbers. Because by the time you have potholes, you cannot run more than 50 uh, this is per, per hour. Mm. Then armed robbers will believe you. Kidnappers will take over the place. Because Fashola has not addressed road project properly. So if he's back now, they should please blow trumpet on his ear that he should really work on as a minister of works and, and housing. <laughs> Thank uh, you. For Ngege, coming back to... Yes. To labor, you know, there was protest on him, and I don't know how that matter was resolved because uh, bringing it back to the Ministry of Labor is, uh, I don't think uh, it's normal, we, unless care is, care is taken. There will be a lot of crisis. Well, well, under him, 30,000 many more wage was negotiated. Um, that is coming now, we will now see the future. It is only because of, of workers' pressure. Uh, the Minister of Labor was double talking. Found out now, it was double talking as at that time. It was the person who said 3,000 or 30,000. Later, I want to say there's variation and whatever. There was confusion in course before he left. So, if he continue like that, workers will murder him out of the place. Because even the matter of this housing something, where that he put Sumono, that was his own handwork too, to manipulate. So, putting uh, put in the gear as Minister of Labor, it uh, got as it be. <laughs> okay, thank you, Reverend Law. Thank you. Now, I'm very Law. You still need to comment on that because we've seen the situation. Nigerians have always talked about the need for continuity. Now, some ministers in the formal uh, cabinet, that is in the cabinet of the president's first tenor, were brought to a second uh, tenor cabinet. Uh, don't you think we might be seeing light at the end of the tenor of the tunnel? Yeah, uh, I will support what the uh, comrade has just said. Okay. Concerning Igigi. During the first turn, we saw the litigation, the conflict between Igigi and labor leaders. It got to a point that uh, this country was at a standstill. Yes. If President Muhammad Buhari wanted to bring Igigi back, but not labor, because I still feel the crisis is still there. The agreement between him and the labor leaders, they are still there. So I would, I, would, I would have thought the president would have swapped him with somebody else so that a fresh person would come, because labor is not an industry where we say, oh, uh, yes, proper, yeah. it's just it's continuous negotiation, crisis, conflict management and all that. I would have seen that uh, Igigi was swapped with somebody else to manage that place, because I foresee a situation whereby we're going to have labor crisis in this country Very when, soon. when they start uh, uh, operating. So it was not a good idea. But don't you think he might have learned his lessons in the first turn of the president? You know, there's this uh, ego thing in we human beings, who is superior. The way the crisis ended, there was nothing like amicable settlement no, between no. Ingigi and, and labor. labor. It was very obvious. So he coming back again, and maybe some of the labor leaders in those groups, they are still there. It's like continuity of crisis. Let's just watch and see. Maybe, okay. like you said, they might have been a... Uh, 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 pedigree, pedigree in when he was a governor. Yes. He was, he's, he's, uh, action never favored workers. When he was a governor in, the, in his so state. I see no reason Okay, why. now look, let's look at some others uh, who retained. Uh, Lai Mohamed yeah. uh, retained <laughs> his uh, position. Are you comfortable with it? <laughs> For me, I was looking at Lai Mohamed on TV yes. yesterday. I just told my wife, if this man removes this, is white. What are you going to be saying? Another white. Okay. The man is just too old to hold any position for now. He was able to survive the first tenor. He should go home and relax. He has children. By now, Lai Mohammed must be should have must be a grandfather. Great. <laughs> <laughs> to go and relax and read newspapers and go to your clubhouse 
and watch Nigeria grow and advise the younger ones, not retaining a position. You know that, let me tell you, this military position of 15 governors and all that is very hectic. Ah. It's when you are not there, you think it's uh, full of it's luxury, you want to go and eat. A hard working governor or a minister, you must re receive calls 24 hours of the day, you must wake up early, you must hold meetings, and for a man of that age, it's not good for his health. Mm -hmm. That's supposed, because you will not get the real services from Lai Mohammed, yeah. irrespective of the fact that he's uh, just uh, a communication minister. Even information. That, information yeah. minister. Even at that, you should have been asked to go and rest. Mm -hmm. And bringing a, a more vibrant and younger person to feed that with. Nigeria is a big country. At times, when you take certain decisions, you look at the, the Nigerians involved, yeah. the detriment of decisions you are going to take, how it will affect the lives of the people. Before you take it, not on personal ground to compensate mm. your think, party uh, yes, I think or that's your friend and okay. all that. It doesn't work like that. Okay. It doesn't work yeah. like yeah. that. No, 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 no. On that note, I think uh, to get minister, they just want to compensate him for, like he said, his compensation. And maybe the owners really fall on you know, the Minister of State to do the work. Because he's, the man is vibrant, yes. But you cannot cheat NATO, NATO. Hmm. Because he found out that uh, during the four weeks or three months to the proper election. Okay. He, he did not come up. He was in his village working and, and at the end of the day, he, when he came out, he was free. So now that there's the, the vibrancy yes. is no more in him. Okay. You can compare like Mohammed mm. when the first tenor ah, during yes. the car, you will see an auditor. You will what? see vibrancy in him. You will see the secretary uh, of the party. Yes, you will see media orientation or whatever yeah. in the life of that man. Yes. He's, he's, he was glow, glowing. Yeah. Uh, but I said, now, uh, from my own personal assessment, he has, he has dropped. Maybe the word compensation. Okay. Because he didn't, as much as he was able to win the Goliath of his area. Well, you know about uh, Goliath. Yeah, yeah, because he was able to defeat Goliath of his area. Of well, Kuala cannot, State. Yes. So, <laughs> and, and you know about who the Goliath is, but yes. I think Goliath will be defeated in order to... Uh, you know. how, how you treat such cases? It's fine. <laughs> you want the Goliath of your state. Okay. Yeah. You bring somebody to... To, to put the... Yeah. Because, like I said in my, my so, opening speech, yes. that these retired... So, the retired people that refuse to retire. Yes. No, yeah. I, don't, I don't know. So, now... Um, we won't allow you to stop on that. Now, why this orientation of keeping very old people in government? Why are the younger ones not being allowed? Yes, the young it children. Be, it would have been a good thing if I yeah. seen a 27-year-old man, a 30-year-old man, or a 27-year-old woman in this cabinet. Yes, the young should grow, not on top of elders. <laughs> <laughs> but you find out that even the young ones we are projecting, Look at the man who has just won election to senator, or whatever. He went to supermarket and go and slap people. You don't know me, I'm a senator. And then you see, and the most of the youth that you want to use for this project, they are they are they, they are wiser than their father, in the sense that uh, looking we had some of them is how they want to make it. But I believe that it's supposed to have used some, some of them I see in this cabinet, you know, maybe but you can see that they some of them want this making money quickly yeah. is in them. But I would have advised or suggest that the governor, the, the president yeah. is supposed to have put them under junior minister so that they can... But, uh, but the people on top, the, the, the big uh, uh, cock doesn't want the small one to grow. Hmm. To, to grow. That's yeah. important. If not, what is stop them? Some of these uh, uh, body organizations or whatever, yeah. the, the advancing in them yeah, and there are many young people yeah, that they can be able to train, to grow up. But all this cabal will not allow it. They are, they are there in our political party. Mm. Everybody in this APC. That's why I see factions going up, the cabal who want to sponsor, who want to be God, Godfather. Is even some people call them Godfather. But they are still now Godfather. That is part of me that tell, tell us, I don't see us of ourselves here apart. They should allow the young one to come in. Not to come and take position, but let them be at least a backman. So as a junior minister, yes. learning, be learning from the minister. Yes. If somebody they put, okay, like uh, Sharaki Junior, mm. the 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 Bimisola or whatever, yes. she's, she's a young lady. Okay. Yes. She come from there, begin to tap from the sources of uh, wisdom of the elders. Mm. But these big men, we not allow, and we don't want to allow. We've seen and we had what put our body into problem. 
Where some confirm say you must give us nine billion. Not to off record. They will be where they can make him a oh, cannot confirm uh, <laughs> but, uh, <laughs> yeah, if, I, if I may ask you, yes, yes. Yeah, you know, politics is dynamic. Okay. Uh, it's complex. Yes. You understand? Now, the the criteria for appointing ministers is not bring the application. Okay. There's no age bracket. Mm -mm. That this president will have to screen these people. Oh, this yes. one is 75, good. This one is 85, no. It's all about politics, political party. And in political party, they have leaders that, you know, heads each state. When they hold their political meetings, even the so-called, you know, people will not be there to join them to, to hold the meeting. You understand? It is the leaders that meet in their political meetings. Yes. To, take decision. Meeting, to take decisions. To take decisions. These junior ones, they are still coming up. The leaders, they formed the party. They did everything. So it's not their time. So you that is not a leader, and a meeting is called of the leaders, you will not be there. You understand? Yes. That is why we still see recycling of these old people. Oh. It is only the magnanimous one that, that would think, oh, I'm not old. Even if I attend such party, when it's my turn to say, okay, ministerial position, I will tell them, no, no, I'm too old. Okay. Let me bring somebody. Okay. That is even with Kujia, we put somebody, put it with condition. Uh, and of course, that one is normal. Yes. But for him not to, to leave that place alone, yes. he has to be magnanimous and be matured in mind to say, yes. Let me I'm in the I mean, leaders meeting, if something has been done to my state, uh, don't worry, I don't want, but let me bring in somebody. Okay. We are going to continue this discussion. I can see that very, very important, vital points are being uh, disseminated by my very eminent guest. But uh, we'll be having another guest joining us uh, to continue this discussion, uh, talking about uh, a very renowned uh, clergyman as well. You, you need to meet him. But that will be after this break. Okay, nice to have you back. Just joining us, uh, Reverend Fred Agedo, very renowned clergyman and uh, analyst as well on national issues and social issues and political as well. Uh, Reverend Fred Agedo, thanks for joining Thank us. Thank you, God bless you. Uh, we were actually just dissecting the inauguration of mm -hmm. the 43-man cabinet of President Mondo Buhari in the second term. And we looked at some of the ministers who were retained, we, we talked about uh, some of them. Uh, Lai Mohammed uh, retains his uh, information. Uh, we talked about Fashola retaining uh, works announcing, but power was taken away to somebody else. Um, are you comfortable with this cabinet? Well, uh, you know, I, I'm not sure that the government of the day or uh, the God-fearing people in our nation actually listen to some of these broadcasts. And uh, even if they hear it, they throw it to the waste bin. If not, I think uh, the journalists are doing much, and some of us who still have the fear of God are still saying the little we could say. Okay. But you know, anytime I come on your program, I always say, I want to see my own case from... Uh, <laughs> Uh, 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 godly aspect of it. Okay. Uh, because I depend on the word of God and Bible to say whatever I'm saying. And okay. even if I judge, my judgment is right. Okay. That's what Jesus said. So, uh, if by what I have seen and the portfolio given and the ministers that have been uh, appointed yes. by my judgment, with the spirit of God and the light of God, I think uh, that's the hair. Uh, the, in fact, we are continuing in corruption, going deeper about corruption. No, but the president warned the listen. ministers against corruption. Just listen. Okay. It's not just saying warn them. Retaining those old hands was a sign of compensation. It is. Because you can't tell me a barrister of law is not handling works and housing, a son for that matter. You can't tell because somebody know, know how to tell like, by the name, you give him information. And these people are old enough to bring in young people. I was actually expecting the president going out of the way of uh, political members and go out and look for technocrats, the youth, young people who can really impact something and let the masses 
agreed, yes, these are new blood. Let's pump it in. Then, if you are going to employ, you can even appoint uh, you know, 80, 84 old hands and young ministers. If that is a problem to you, so that the youth can actually come in because they know what is happening outside. So you can't tell me 80 something years old person, 70 something years old person is still telling children of 30 something, 20 something, 40 something how it should be. No, 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 no. We have grown out of that. So if we must deal with corruption, let us start from this appointment. Because what I saw from this appointment is a sign of the biggest corruption of bringing in old hands, letting them retain their position. You didn't say anything wrong in it. And in the first four years, we did not get the best. We didn't get anything good, talk less or better. So you are still making them to continue where they stopped? I think there is an error in uh, it. <laughs> so, and again, if, if you go by the Minister of Power, Housing and Works, you are removing only one. And the one of, uh, what they call it, uh, Amechi, uh, transport. Uh, of transport and it, those are compensations they are all evil and is corruption of the highest order so is something is wrong in it but some people, some, some people believe yes. that there's need for continuity probably the president is looking at the area of continuity they are not president we didn't vote for them we didn't vote for them if they have done wrong nigeria said we didn't get anything good out of these first four years so why not change your pattern why not go to the drawing board and bring up? In fact, youth should occupy such positions. Youth, vibrant youth, not APC alone, not PDP. Youth, you just go out of your way and go to school, get first class uh, children that are very, very sharp, that knows what to do, and put them. And let everybody begin to see Buhari in a new light. Uh, this is good. Then the youth will not revolt. Uh -huh. The youth will not be calm. Let's see what our fellow youth can do. Hello. Thank, so, you. Uh, thank you very much, Dr. Uh, uh, you made a point, but uh, yeah, well, I'm uh, I want right. to say something. Okay. We were talking about compensation. Yes. It's not the same. Okay. The word of God says in, 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 in Isaiah 65. Okay. He says you will not labor in vain. Okay. Coming to look at it, these men and women, they spend their money. There's no election without money in, in Africa as a whole. We know that some African head of state came to Nigeria to borrow money for campaign the election. Leave that one. You cannot, I cannot put my money in a stake. What the I was expecting, I would be expecting what? Gain. It's an investment. It's an investment. It's a political matter. So if I invest, that from, to win a world election, you must have some people who must you must have billions to for election. No, but the INEC has kicked against. INEC kicked uh, against. Uh, let me tell you. Uh, let me tell you one thing. Let me tell you one thing. During this past election, all over the country of Nigeria, no, anywhere they are voting, you will see hotels, bar, restaurants. They will drink beer there. <laughs> when they drink beer, the the agents, we, they are paying for the beer, but they are paying agents. They are not giving anybody take take money. But they know the way they collect it. If anybody wants to tell you that there is free election, nowhere. We are talking about the ISB that. Come to what we are saying. I don't see it is corruption. Even, even Joshua, who lifted the hands of Moses, there, there must be some hand lifters. And at the end of the day, it is not all of them. Joshua, again, in God who said, compensate Joshua to lead the Israelites out of to the promised land. Yeah. Even Moses that started it, died in Pisica. So there is nobody, I know where, you will not see a, a, a destiny helper to lift you up. And indeed, you will compensate. The word compensation is there. Okay. So, but when you compensate, what way? Uh, at least, thank God, Kayom, uh, by Sir Kayom, okay. from Delta State, from Delta State he, he's a youth. He's a young man, vibrant, and pray that we see how we deliver. Mm. But what we are saying that these men, some of them, they have the it's compensation, like we are talking about uh, the David of uh, Otoge of Kwara. The man in his old age had a sleepless night. And I met such a man, like uh, my comrade said here, well, Oga, the people have no conscience. I said, Look, I am tired. I want I have somebody else. Even like, let him bring his son. It's in America, some people bring their wife. Even the, uh, 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 Nixon and Co. They brought their wife and others. Why can't they bring somebody, bring their own son, or bring others? So that is the area in which 
My you argument, can differ. Yeah, yeah. Okay. If not, if you I don't see it as corruption. Okay. Because if nobody, my friend, nobody wants to fail. If you and if you try yes. and fail, history will forgive you. They have tried the first year, four years. Yes. They now, that is why they are talking uh, shit over whatever you. Uh, whatever the map yeah, next, next, next level, level. <laughs> now is that the next level yes. let us go with whom i can work with okay the, for now then but the body cannot complain that uh, they have destroyed the economy before he came now that he is the owner of the economy he was supervisor and the director of the economy for, he four, cannot, years. for four years he cannot now tell nigeria that because of economy was the economy now he's in charge now these are the people who i want to work with me they are not quarreling with their working but it's a certain one or two of them could have stepped down in the matter of conscience. But I didn't see the appointment as corruption. Okay. A quick one, Reverend Fred. Yeah. Yeah. Yes. No, I also want to correct him. Thank okay. God uh, he's two men of God okay. that are talking about this. Yeah, but, but it's, not, it's not a religious matter. No, no, it's not okay. a religious matter at yes. all. Because I expected, I expected uh, works and housing okay. was supposed to be head, headed or uh, appointed an engineer okay. that knows about it. Okay. Do you understand? A son to, of law should not handle such a thing. We are Nigerians. A son. So that's the area you are yes, looking at. Yes. Technocrats should feature to be their positions. Yes. Okay. It is too late to cry. Yes. It is too late because, because the man started it. No, but no, about all that. Yes. The man started this project of uh, of uh, works and RC. Mm. Now, take an example. Uh, the bridge, the Onisha bridge, okay, or whatever. Niger bridge. Niger is it bridge. all his political statement? No, I am from don't there. say that. It's not say that. Have you been there? No, Has that. anybody passed? Yes. Okay, just allow him to finish. finish. Allow him to finish. 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 Everything, material, yeah. everything, some of the material have been dropped there. Okay. Then the new man come because you be an engineer. Okay. You do not know where the man stopped. Yes. You now be, already you have retired him, or he's no more in the city. Okay. You now call him, do you want to call him as a contractor or consultant? Let the man who have started the matter finish his job. Okay. If it's no more performing, forum like this can help people can make noise. Yes. And then there can be amendment. That's your line of yes. thought. Yes. Okay. Not yes. 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 Andrew, you are If I may come in here. Yes. Come in. Because uh, the two religious men that are talking, they are yes. talking from religious angle, not mm. political yeah, you, angle. Yes. Uh, they said each state has a candidate. Mm. At least At one least minister one from each state. And Fashola that we are talking about, is from Lagos State. Mm. And Lagos State has it's only that that will not want to be a minister but this is who i want okay are you, get, are you getting me yes this is who i want so it behoves on fashola because at times you think the president because he's uh, by law he has power to appoint no that is why before this appointment they held a national working committee meeting they sat down they everybody discussed if you want to be a president that will succeed in your party you have to be very diplomatic and be very careful otherwise your party will fight you now 2023 is around the corner mm. and we're we'll hearing grapevine about uh, some people wanting to contest if you want to contest this election you know about money it's money it's not supposed to be but no, no. african politics like you said <laughs> that thing. you must buy <laughs> t-shirts you must buy beer you must print posters you must hire vehicles how are you going to do that in a big country like Nigeria with over 200 million, you're going to go Can poor man buy bus, don't put their car bus, or you, can pay? Can a, 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 a big board around Nigeria, 36 states? So leave that thing. So they need to empower their people in strategic places that will gather funds for them. And people that will work for them. Some of them are already preparing for 2023. Let me tell you. If you don't you know. are talking about political intrigues. Yes. Like, political intrigues. So, but like they is said, it supposed to be like no, that? No, like they say, conversation is normal. If you've worked, you need to be compensated because I cannot imagine I supported the political party, I printed t shirt I put in my money around here, around there. At the end, they will tell me they are going to look no, at the so, Sorry, oh. Am I not a technocrat now? <laughs> By the yeah. finance. Why, why are you telling me that you want to go and look for somebody? I'm intelligent myself. Yeah. And you can't even dare say that in political arena to say, oh, thank you, technocrat. Which technocrat? Why did you come and play politics? Come and run around. Come and put your money. It's big business. So the only thing is, the people that they've appointed, let they have the fear of God and do the right thing. Yes. Deliver to Nigerians and nobody will be annoyed. You understand? Like, they took power from Fashola. It was a good one. Very good. Good one. So that uh, it will not mess up the second time. Because Nigeria, the only thing that is drawing Nigeria back now is light, energy. Mm. And if we don't get it, 
no matter what we do, and there are no next level. level. No next level, and I think I will still be at a standstill. So Thank you very much, uh, Andrew Gala. We're going to move to the next topic. Before we do that, two ministers from uh, those states. Uh, uh, Hanire is now Minister of Health. He has been. Uh, He's a minister. Agba, uh, budget. now in charge budget, budget state. Mm -hmm. Gentlemen, are you satisfied with the positions of the Edo State uh, Ministers? Well, I think uh, uh, Dr. Ehaniri was yes. uh, Minister of State. Mm. Health. Uh, uh, Minister of uh, State. Health. 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 Yes, he was not a full minister. Uh, yes, yes. That's what I'm saying. Mm. And uh, he has graduated, <laughs> which means he performed. Okay. And uh, believe it, I don't know, I've not have a one-on-one -on -one discussion with him. Okay. But when you go through what is happening in medical arena mm. and some areas, his uh, role, you can find out that that man is a right peg in a right hole. Okay. Reverend Fred, I disagree. Okay. Hundred and five percent. Yes. First of all, we should be able to talk about what affects us. Yes. And that's what we're analyzing. Okay. And that's what we should say. Yes. We should not talk in favor of Don't, politics. No, go straight to the so, point. I totally Make your point. was there for the past four years. Yes. What impact did the Edo State get from him? We don't or have the, we don't the medical have... set, 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 yes. set, uh, mm. section. What do they get? I have a hospital and a medical director. What do Unibe get? What did all that things get from him when he was there? What lobby did he lobby for the state? So I'm not just talking because I'm talking. We have one particular circular that goes around all the medical sectors in Edo, in Edo State. What did he do for us? If he has done it in Abuja, it's okay. okay. If he has done it's only the chairman of the medical uh, association that can comment. Next time you call him and let him tell you what he has done. Okay. The, because the sickle cell, uh, whatever they call it, in Edo State have been closed up for the past three years. You know how many children that are dying there? What has he done? Okay, that's so another, that's another that's issue. That's another day. Okay. If you have time, call the medical uh, okay. uh, person yes. to talk about What that. about Agba? Agba, very good. He was a commissioner in this state. Yes. Agba performed. During, During environment. Yes. Okay. Agba is, is sound. Agba is good. Agba knows what we are passing through in those states. And while he was here, everybody enjoyed him. So you are and satisfied? Sir. Yes. yes. Agba. Agba. Thank you, Reverend Fred. Yes. 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 Uh, Kudos to whoever negotiated on behalf of Edo State to bring out two intelligent people as ministers. Okay. Now, Dr. Nahiri is not in charge of health. In yes. charge, yes. What we should be expecting are policies that will touch the lives of the common man. Okay. Because health is wealth. Okay. Because I've come to realize there's a state in Nigeria now that passed a law that if you are a medical doctor, you cannot be lecturing and be having a private hospital. Yes. Okay. It is either you stick to your private hospital and leave the government hospital, or you go to the government hospital and leave the private hospital, which is very good. Because you discover that uh, most doctors in uh, those states, they are lecturers, they, they lecture in the university, they work with the University of Benin. They still have their private hospital. Clinic. Clinic. Most times they refer cases to their own clinic. And they are collecting salaries in the government hospital. If such innovations can come to say now, if you are a medical doctor, if you have a private clinic, stick to a private clinic. If you are a lecturer, stick to your lecturing job. Because it's like they are, they are picking passengers <laughs> <laughs> kabu, kabu. Uh, to, to their clinic, to the detriment of the, the common man. Because when you talk about state-owned hospitals, there are, uh, what, how do they call it, um, subvention and uh, low rate of payment of medical bills and all that. Okay. That's why it's government. Okay. But the same doctor that you meet in the government hospital will tell you there are no drugs, there are no this, you must do operation, will refer you to his hospital. And that operation that he's still going to do that operation in his okay. hospital. These are, these these are very these are issues. Yeah, very serious allegations. Yes. <laughs> yes. Okay. And but, what I'm talking about. Yeah, okay. Let, let's look at um Agu. and let me just say two okay. seconds. Yes. Like Dr. Hanere. Okay. Note that at the fourth the past regime yes. that he was a member he was minister of state okay he was not a minister if a of senior pets. minister like a subordinate and let me tell you that my my even my colleague has said yes everything is he was appointed politically 
he might have presented many issues. Okay. I know that if you go, we cannot openly say he has not worked. Yes. Find out from directors and those who are in charge of medical directors yeah. in all the hospitals, both federal and state. Mm. But you find out this man is not in charge. He was not in charge. But now, if he did not perform, we can blame him. Because it's now he had the yam and he had the knife. So uh, there's something that gentlemen that you've not said. We'll start with you, Reverend. Uh, um, now, the issue of expectation from this man. Some Nigerians are saying that politicians should stop traveling abroad for medical tourism. Yeah, treatment. So, what do you expect from Dr. Anirin and uh, Reverend Fred Anirin? What do you expect? Well, what do you want him to do? Because, well, um, I'm just here. Reverend Lou has made it clear now. He's a full minister now. Yeah. So, expectation now. What now, do you expect? Now that I am hearing from you people that uh, he has been a half minister. No, he was minister of state. Uh -huh. Okay, yes. whatever it was. But I knew he was in uh, uh, head. Now that he is full, a full minister, yes. where I will come here and talk categorically that okay. he has affected our nation, our yes. state, and our people as a do people mm. he is to hear that all the medical sectors, mm -hmm. UBTH, Central Hospital, they now have facility that we are always running to in America, in Europe, in UK, to take there okay. with expensive whatever. Okay. Because I know when the uh, medical things are well put in place in Nigeria, yes. a Nigerian man don't want to die. They are ready to spend any amount of money to make sure that they live. Okay. And now if the minister in charge now get that knowledge that we should do something here, my dear, I, I will be the happy. I will still come back here and say, no, so this, uh, this man has done Thank you well. very much. So if uh, Thank malaria you. is treated in UK, uh, bone transplant <laughs> is treated in UK, yes. and all Nigerian money are going there, being transferred, we don't know how much they are spending. They come by, the allowances are paid to the detriment of common man. There is no way I can speak well of them. Thank you very much. Now we'll move to the next topic, and that will be the last um, issue to be dissected on 60 Minutes Nigeria today, this week edition. I hope you have been enjoying uh, the program and you'll be following the line of thought uh, by my very eminent personalities. Um, the fight against corruption, the federal government intensifies that. And President Mohamed Buhari has not hidden his intention to rid Nigeria of corruption. And um, only a few days ago, uh, the residents of uh, former governor of Lagos State uh, Amber Day uh, was allegedly raided, but the FCC said they didn't raid the residence of the um, former governor, but rather it was an ongoing investigation. Though we understand that the youths disturbed that investigation, which the FCC also believes is not good for Nigeria because the, their job is to ensure that they investigate any corrupt act, and they should be allowed to do their job. That's the position of the FCC. Reverend Lua, there you go. What's your take? <laughs> well, yes. If you try, okay, and you fail, history will forgive you. Okay, that you don't try at all. This present regime, it at this point you find out a governor going to jail. Hmm. Is this point that you find out that head of service, federal head of service, is exposed for two or three percent billion? What happened in Lagos not a new thing. But this, this type of Nigeria suffering and smiling, we, you know that sometimes ago, a woman was charged for corruption. And people in that state begin to play kukuse, leave, leave our daughter alone. Leave, and the, this is the family that bought a whole street in Abuja. And they now discover they are still recovering from their family till tomorrow. <laughs> Billions. <laughs> now some people, it is when Nigerians have problem with EFCC. They never have, they have color. They, they have broken uh, this. They are not well. But when you see justice, a good judge said no. They brought the man on which here on the censor before he came and they get out and remove the something. Nigeria tried to you know, play some sort of ostrich game. Nothing consigned a pair boys. Let our guard search him, go to his house. If he has nothing to do, he goes. But they are, they are suffering. I know Amber tried, he worked, 
but wherever you work, you may eat, but not at the detriment of the masses. Yes. Corruption must be, must be, must be to quota. Even though you want an equity, you must come with a clean hand. Yeah. You see, those who are prosecuting you are they clean. But when they have started probing themselves now, we can have some confidence that it is okay. We, I support fighting against corruption in totality. And I pray too that they can be able to, for EFCC, can go to uh, the, uh, the central hospital to find out that is there any uh, uh, equipment to run, like my friend has said, any equipment in that hospital to run the place. The place was built with how much was the cost? And the president came to open the place without no instrument. His so instrument the day he came. After he left, his plan vanished. Uh -huh. Why is the EFCC not it's, proving that? That's they holiness. Should, they should go ahead. Sir, you know, sir, uh, sir, that's uh, holiness. So it's not holiness, but it depends <laughs> because the FCC will not come to your house if there's no petition. Okay. And if there is petition, let us know is, this, is there any fact and figure. I but we are just asking now yes. that why is the delay? So I support this, uh, what we call uh, Fight against fighting against corruption. But let each state should raise an alarm. Thank you very much. Let me refer that. I can see you are here. Yes, yes. Okay, now. Because what he has okay. just cited is, you don't need to ask questions about it. Okay. What he has just cited, all of us in a dose, mm. we are all aware. But now that case cannot go on because it has died on the altar of truth. It has died natural death. Because I am aware another colleague of us, a bishop, has put out case in court. And court has ruled that there is no case there. And we are, we are suffering. So now that case. court has ruled, let's yes. look at the Amber Day issue now as a reference point. Is the federal government fight against corruption? You know, I, I, mean, I didn't live in Lagos during the time of our body, but I've traveled to Lagos several times any time traveling out of this country. Okay. And I can tell you vividly that he was one of the good uh, governor that actually performed, that I know, like Jack Conde. Ambode was wonderful. Ambode was good. That was why when they wanted to subchange him, Lagosians were not too happy about it. Now they subchange him, they thought he would de uh, decamp to another party. And yet he worked for APC. And we understand that when you are in APC, your sins are forgiven. Why again on him? They remove him from being a governor, and yet he has no peace of mind. He didn't get any appointment now. Why? So the youth, if the youth has not got anything out of him, it's like uh, this man, uh, what they call him, uh, the senator, whoever. He was not. He was not present. He was not at home. He was in the hospital when the election was done. Uh, what uh, this popular man in the Senate uh, that they were chasing Malaya. up and down. Uh, Dino. He still won because the people around him they they felt his impact. So when you are in politics and people around you are feeling the impact, they are smiling. Tomorrow you you pull him out of office when it's not yet time. Yes. When you call, people will fight for him. Thank, thank you very much. Well, people now fighting for a doom. The arm robber that was caught here of recent in the Berkeley play, play, play too. Because it was by Mosaku, by Veku for them. Okay, what do you mean? The, okay. the Bible said the okay. bread came by the seed. It is sweet. He let that one to grab it in their mouth. Yeah. The grab is already in yeah. the people's mouth. Let me come in here. Yeah. Come, my dear. Okay. Uh, before, uh, it's, it plays like this. Okay. There's so much money in governance. You cannot say this one did not eat or that one did not eat. Mm -hmm. It depends on pet petitions at the table of the EFCC. Yes. That's what they are acting on. According to EFCC, there was there are a series of petitions against Ambody. Okay. One was a 9.9 .9 billion slashed in a access City, First City Monument Bank and Zenith Bank. Which Ambody has refuted. Yes, yes. That yes. is on the state government. Okay. Wait. Now the investigation is still on. It's an yes. But they okay. have got it right. What uh, why I felt uh, EFCC goofed was that as a body duly registered a corporate body. Now there are petitions in front of you concerning it. Uh, somebody that yeah. was heated to a governor which because of the immunity you couldn't ask him. Now he's not out of government. Invite him formally to your office. By the time you, you get a letter from here that you are wanted in our office so so time, so so time, he will definitely honor it. Nobody's bigger than the law. No. So by the time he gets there, you bring out his file, you discuss and all that. If you are still keen, I'm talking of international way of handling yes. issue. Okay. If you are still keen on going to his house to, to, to investigate or mm. search, so it is from works. your office, you bring out a vehicle. Okay, we are going to your house. Because he has not made any rearrangement of evacuating anything from the house. Okay. You catch him on our west. 
that we are going to your house to do for that search. Meanwhile, you've collected his food. He can't call the area boss. But going to somebody's house, pa, 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 it's EFCC. Ah, somebody is still inside. He has his phones with him. He has his area boys around. He will make calls, and they will all come and resist you. And <coughs> the resistance they had that day, and they couldn't enter to do a meaningful job. Now, whatever they are going there to search for, they won't see it again. Okay, you mean investigation is compromised? Yes. Okay, gentlemen, I want to thank you for your wonderful contribution to this program. I know that our viewers they have enjoyed our discussion. I want to thank Reverend Fred Agedo. Thanks for your contribution. You. I want to thank our highly respected labor leader, former labor leader in Edo State, former chairman, and of course, uh, clergyman. Thank, thank you very much. Thank you. And thank of course, uh, Andre Galois, who is now a, a president of a pressure group, uh, putting pressure on uh, political parties to do what is right. Thanks for being a part of this program. My pleasure. Okay, if you enjoyed this week's edition of the program, keep a date with me. By God's grace, next week, we'll be looking at other national issues. Until then, bye-bye.